Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do banking and financial awareness for the month of September 2023. So students, we are going to discuss uh, all the contents in a very easy language, simple language. Uh, let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from last 12 years now. And this is my WhatsApp number in case of any doubt, you can ask your doubts. And IBPS RRB Scale 2, Scale 3 2024 course, we have already released the 2024 course. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, test series, uh, weekly quizzes, everything is available on the dashboard. It is really good if you are starting your preparation right now. If you are starting your there will be a much better chance of getting finally selected. And we are also conducting the mock interviews if you want uh, us to conduct a mock interview. Just drop a WhatsApp message, jo, jo number diya hai. drop a WhatsApp message. We are going to conduct a mock interview for you. Okay, let's start the session. Let me just hide myself uh, so that you can read the content properly. So Hitachi Payment Services launched the white labeled UPI ATM with NPCI. So first of its kind that there will be a white labeled uh, UPI ATM. So using the UPI, you can withdraw money, you can deposit money, you can cash deposit, you can withdraw the hard cash, right? It'll, it is built on Android OS and it's a uh, Japan based Hitachi Limited, right? So one of its kind, it's totally white labeled. SBI cards launched uh, the Simply Save Merchant SBI card. So what's the benefits? Interest free short term credit up to 50 days, 10x rewards on utility insurance and the telecom payment. And they have launched it for micro, small and medium enterprises, micro, small and medium enterprises. Okay. Let's move forward. Credix and MasterCard, they partnered to make the B2B payments rewarding the Credix and MasterCard. They have partnered to make B2B payments rewarding for its vendors, for enterprises. Their partnership will integrate MasterCard's commercial card services with Credex supply chain finance platform. Okay, so Credex, they are into supply chain finance and the MasterCard, they're into obviously, you know, the, the card service. They don't only have partnership. Kiya. So AU Small Finance Bank, they launched the Zenith Plus Metal Credit Card. So first of all, it's a metal card. It's crafted in metal. The main point here is low foreign currency markup, which is 0.99%, which is really attractive. Airport, uh, airport launches is here that those benefits every other credit card is doing that anyways. And SBI launched the nation first transit card. So this transit card, it is uh, based on NC uh, MC prepaid card and the National Common Mobility Card, NCMC technology, which are designed to simplify payment process for commuters. So National Common Mobility Card based uh, this card launched by the, uh, the State Bank of India. So SBI has already implemented NCMC based ticketing solution in various metro cities such as Noida, Nagpur, Mumbai, Kanpur and Chennai. And cash free payment uh, partners with the cash free payments that's a company they partnered with NPCI. What they are going to do is the auto pay on QR just by scanning the QR, uh, you can, you know, uh, do the uh, you can start the auto pay facility, right? So for various subscription based models, uh, for, for uh, you're taking the subscription, you can just scan the QR code and you can start the payments for the subscription, right? So it sub, uh, simplifies the customers onboarding process into two step uh, workflow right so customer they just need to scan qr code and approve an e mandate by upi apps so e mandate her mine 500 rupees ka payment hai, her mine 1000 rupees ka payment hai. just scan the qr code and with your upi within 30 seconds you are uh, uh aapki jo e mandate hai wo lag jayegi kisht start ho jayegi emi start ho jayegi which makes the process very very easy okay so cash free payments they partnered with the npci kind of a new product the Max Life launch life insurance and health insurance policy combined policy uh, called Seva secure earning and wellness advantage. So one of its kind that uh, the health insurance and life insurance they are uh, they are combined into one product. So the name of the product is Seva. Ekhi product hai dono uh, insurance ke liye. Ek 5% ka discount bhi de rahe hai first year premium mein. 
Odisha government signed MOU with six uh, public sector banks to provide banking services, namely SBI, PNB, uh, the UBI, Yuko Bank, Bank of India and Bank of Baroda. So bank, uh, the government of Odisha, they signed an MOU with these public sector banks so that these uh, banks, they can provide banking services to all unbanked gram panchayats. So very interesting. Sidbi partnered with Tata Power to finance solar rooftop initiatives for the MSMEs. So MSMEs can uh, get the loan at, uh, at attractive rates and they can install the solar rooftops at the premises. Yes Bank partners with JustPay to launch Hyper UPI. So with Hyper UPI, merchants can now offer customers a hassle-free one-click UPI experience without having to depend upon another app to make UPI transactions. Okay, so with Hyper UPI, they don't need any other app to make UPI transactions. IB Sathi launched by the Indian Bank. So Indian Bank's initiative IB Sathi stands for IB Sustainable Access uh, and Aligning Technology for Holistic Inclusion. So it is an initiative launched by the public sector Indian banks on September 16, 2023 to provide an integrated ecosystem for all the stakeholders. Okay. So the initiatives it aims to offer enhanced user experience through uh, the simplified delivery of services encompassing both basic and value added offering to the customers, right? So enhanced uh, jo hai, uh, user experience would be provided to the customers. So Ujivan Small Finance Bank introduced uh, introduces the maximum sa saving account. So uh, annual rate of interest of 7.5% would be offered and the customers can open a, an account with 1 lakh rupees. Utna yaad rakhne ki zorat hai nahi hai. And the TCS, they partnered with the bank ID, bank except AS, right? So what is the goal? Uh, they have entered into a strategic partnership to set up and manage the operations command center in Oslo. Uh, that will enhance the resilience, security and availability of country's critical financial infrastructure. Okay. To provide security, cyber security to the country's critical financial infrastructure for example in India it is UPI and the TCS has partnered uh, with the bank ID bank except AS Oslo to safeguard their financial infrastructure so HDFC AMC uh, got the approval of RBI to acquire 9.5 percent stake in the DCB bank and the Karur Vaisya bank right so 9.5% stake, now they can acquire that much, okay. PhonePay announced the launch of its Indus App Store developer platform to compete with the Google and Apple. Google and Apple, Google has a Play Store and the Apple has a, it's also has its App Store. And they charge commission, hefty commissions around the world, 30% actually. So Google charges 30%, Apple charges 30%. Now the Indus uh, App Store they are going to compete with these platforms, right? And that will be totally uh, commission free. And it's backed by the phone pay and the startup ecosystem in India. Kotak Mahindra AMC partners with the CBSC to uh, the, what is the goal? Goal is to uh, of this initiative is to educate and raise awareness among 75,000 educators with intention of empowering them, enhancing their financial acumen so that they can disseminate this information, this knowledge with their students, right? So you need to remember Kotak Mahindra AMC, they partnered with the uh, CBSC and what is the goal? To, uh, to, to provide the financial uh, education to the educators, teachers. So who's the managing director of Kotak Mutual Fund? Nilesh Shah, okay? The NPS, uh, the National Pension Systems Assets Under Management cross 10 lakh crore, which is a huge money. And that includes Atal Pension Yojana. Okay. So it was around 5 lakh crore in November 2020, but now it is 10 lakh crore. It's a huge money. The RBI has instructed banks to release property documents within 30 days. So if you have taken a loan uh, from uh, secured loan from a bank and you have fully paid uh, the loan, but sometimes the banks were not returning the property documents to the borrowers. 
if the bank is not doing it within 30 days from the date of full repayment of the loan the bank they need to pay 5000 rupee per day as penalty to the borrower if the borrower goes to the rbi so that is the thing within 30 days you need to release the banks they need to release the documents otherwise there is a 5000 rupee per day of fine on banks if the bank uh, misplaced uh, the documents then the bank needs to pay for uh, you know for uh, for the copies for whatever expenses are jo bhi expenses honge naya document banane ke wo sare bank pay karega financial inclusion index uh, launched last year and uh, the FI index it is com uh, composite of three measures the first one access to the financial services uh, to the financial inclusion uh, usage and the quality last year uh, this index was at 56.4 this year it is 60.1 thanks to the UPI which may had a great role uh, in financial inclusion right so right now it's 60.1 percent ONDC open network for digital commerce the government of India initiative they launched the gift card a lot of e-commerce companies are part of ONDC now so uh, the ONDC has launched gift card for the customers for the consumers kind of a new uh, initiative right so the Andhra Pradesh food processing society and SBI they have entered into an agreement to support the establishment of at least 7500 food processing units in the state and SBI has announced its introduction of UPI interoperability a lot of banks are already doing it on CBDC this feature uh, accessible through e rupee by SBI application a lot of banks are doing now finally SBI did it uh, PNB announced also announced uh, its uh, you know its launch of its C, uh, the CBDC with UPI interoperability, uh, well, SBA ne kiya, then the PNB has done it, Canra has already done it, a lot of banks have already done it. NPCI has recently launched a slew of new payment options, including conversational transactions. According to the 2023 trade finance gaps, the growth and job survey released by the Asian Development Bank, the global trade finance gap expanded to a uh, record 2.5 trillion so that's not really important from examination point of view this one the excess bank one of the largest private sector banks has partnered with clear trip excess bank partnered with clear trip which is a company uh, backed by the flip card it's a unique proposition to provide travel benefits to the all the you know customers of uh, clear trip uh, hsbc india has indeed launched ONDC in a box, right? Making its first foreign bank to offer a ONDC enabled proposition. And RBA has announced that it will discontinue incremental CRR. So uh, in incremental CRR, RBA asked the banks to maintain additional CRR. Toda liquidity issue tha. Zara liquidity tha. So uh, the RBA sucked money from the economy, from the banks. And now RBI is returning that money to the banks. Okay. The Association of Investment Bankers of India appointed Mr. Mahavir Lunavat as their uh, managing uh, has appointed uh, as a chairman for two years. Okay. He's the managing director of Pantomath Capital Advisors. The RBI approved the reappointment of Sandeep Bakshi. That is important as a managing director and uh, CEO of ICICI Bank. So RBI approved Sandeep Bakshi as a managing director and CEO of ICICI Bank. That is important. The GQG Partners, a US based investment firm acquired five cross shares in IDFC Bank and he acquired that from V. Vedenath. So V. Vedenath, he was the, the, the I guess MD of Capital First, which uh, after that, I mean, IDFC Bank and Capital First, they merged then it became IDFC first bank and now V Vaidyanath uh, who was the MD CEO of uh, you know firstly for, for capital first and he became the MD CEO of IDFC first bank he sold his shares to the GQG. The Indian Overseas Bank has indeed inst uh, introduced online allotment of safe deposit locker. It's sometimes it's very difficult to get a locker at a public sector banks but now the banks they need to uh, to do that online they need to make this uh, thing online new facility can be assessed both by customers and non-customers 
by logging into bank's portal and there they can apply for the safe deposits. IIT Kanpur has partnered with the ICICI Bank to foster the eco uh, foster the startup ecosystem. They signed the MOU to fuel startup innovation in India. So IIT Kanpur and ICICI Bank to fuel the, the startup ecosystem in India. So commercial virtual commercial credit card Indescent Bank has indeed launched a virtual commercial credit card in collaboration with the Visa and JustPay to redefine cross border transactions for corporates and travel agents. So travel agent and corporates they are making uh, foreign transaction uh, for the import and export. To simplify that, Indescent Bank they launched a virtual commercial credit card, and Rajneesh Kumar, the former chairman of SBI, has been appointed as the chairman of Mastercard of India. The SBI has introduced a digital facility for NRIs. Uh, they can, you know, open their NRE and NRO accounts online on the Uno app without any hassle of coming to India and doing all the stuffs offline. The RBI has approved the reappointment of Shashidhar Jagdishan as the managing director and CEO of HDFC Bank. Uh, and it will be effective from 27th of October 2023 till 26th of October 2026 for the period of, uh, you can say, three years. The ADB, the Asian Development Bank, uh, gave the, the projection of India's growth rate very important, 6.3%. Uh, I mean, it is a slight decrease from 6.4%, their previous estimate. They are expecting the India's GDP growth for the financial year 2023, for the fiscal year 2023 to 6.3%. The Startup Odisha, an initiative of MSME Department of Government of Odisha, has launched a 100 crore Odisha Startup Growth Fund in collaboration with SIDB as a fund manager. So that is important, Startup Odisha, 100 crore initiative for MSME. Uh, for the startup growth in collaboration with SIDB. The SBI, they are going to raise 10,000 crore uh, using the infrastructure bonds at a coupon rate of 7.49%. I hope you know coupon rate means interest rate. Access Bank has launched a new platform called Neo for Business. You just use your uh, digital platform, the app, the, the internet banking, no need to come to the branch. And that is for MSMEs. Utkarsh uh, Small Finance Bank has launched an innovative service called in Interoperable Cardless Cash Withdrawal that uses UPI on its ATM network. That's interesting. And SIDB signed an MOU with the Digital Lender Association of India to support countries' fintech sector. The agreement aims to develop standard protocols for digital lending partnerships. Now they are going to have a standardized rules for that. And RBI asked uh, the regulators, which include the commercial banks and the NBFC, to display the information of defaulters, right? So defaulters under Surfaisi Act information would be available on the official website of the bank. Jitne bhi defaulter hai, sab ka information Surfaisi, uh, jo Surfaisi Act ke under hai, that will be available on the official website of the bank. And NABARD issued India's first AAA rated Indian denominated stock bond raising 1040 crore. The bond have a coupon rate of 7.63%. Sanjeev Mantri has been appointed as new MD and CEO of ICICI Lombard General Insurance. And Punawala FinCorp, a Cyrus Punawala group promoted NBFC receives RBI approval to issue co-branded card with Indescent Bank. Now they are going to do that. And appointments committee of cabinet, ACC has approved reappointment of M. Rajeshwar Rao as deputy governor of RBI. So for a period of one year. So M. Rajeshwar Rao, deputy governor of RBI. And UPA network crossed 1000 crore transactions. Now 1058 uh, crore transaction happened in the month of August 2023, which is a big number. And DGFT has clarified e-commerce exports also qualify for pecking credit loan in foreign currency as per the RBI guideline. So e-currency, e-commerce exports, they also qualify for the, the shipment credit under the, the, the foreign currency guidelines. So AU, Small Finance Bank and Bajaj Alliance, they entered into a strategic partnership and uh, they are going to, you know, the EU Small Finance Bank is going to sell the insurance policies of Bajaj Alliance. And RBI has given ICIC Bank approval to making I process its subsidiary. They are going to merge. Okay. 
R they got the RBI approval for that. And Bank of Baroda has enabled QR based cash withdrawal facility. In the you uh, in the ATMs of Bank of Baroda, the money can be withdrawn using the UPI. And Kantar's brands top 75 most valuable Indian brands report 2023. The most valuable brand is uh, the TCS is the most valuable brand that is the point number one, the most valuable brand in India is TCS. JP Morgan announced uh, on 24th of September that it will include Indian government bonds in its government bond in index emerging markets from 28th of June 2024. And that's I guess all for today's students. I hope you like the today's session. The PDF for this session would be available. Uh, I'll provide the PDF in the link available in the description. Please check and link to the course IBPS RRB GBO scale to scale 3 2024 course is available in the description. Please check. We have started the video classes. We'll provide the notes, live sessions, mock tests, weekly quizzes and interview preparation guidance. Everything would be available in a course. Uh, list of our successful students, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. My WhatsApp number is mentioned. Uh, I mean, it's 9067201000. It's available in the description as well. If there is any doubt, please ask your doubts. And that's all for today's students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.